Today I'm joined by two guests. We have IACP President Richard Berry and Dr. Lori Friedel. Thanks for joining us both of you. Our pleasure. Now tell us about the Critical Issues Forum which is being held during the second General Assembly, Chief. Well, based on what the issues that we've had in law enforcement uh, across the United States and across the globe in the last year, we reached out and we, we spoke with the Attorney General and I've met with the President of the NAACP and, and other interested parties and we're going to have a real serious conversation about the future of policing and race relations and community relations. It's going to be a hard-hitting, impactful session. It sounds it very much. Dr. Ferdell, what are the two or three issues that you think may dominate this discussion? Well, one set of questions I want to ask our panelists will pertain to the task force report. And of course by that I mean President Obama's task force on 21st century policing. So I'm going to ask all of them, what are the one or two most important recommendations that comes out of that report? But then I'm also going to challenge them a little bit because, you know, we've had commissions over the last half a century. And what's different? What's new? And what is it about policing or about the relationship between police community that's going to allow us to move forward when we implement these recommendations? And then some of the subtopics related to a broad policing community. You know, what if anything about police use of force needs to be changed? What does training look like to produce quality interactions between officers on the street and the community? Um, what do we need to do in order to improve the trust and confidence on the part of the community with police? Because it is at its lowest levels since the Rodney King era right now. These are huge issues that we've been talking about the entire time for this convention. Chief, any other issues you think might come up? Well, this is the right place and the right time to talk about these issues and get it right. The training, uh, all the issues that are involved with this, and, and this is our intent and our, our goal, and I think this will continue on. I think this is going to be the first change that we've made at ISP in many years, and we hope to continue it forward and do these kind of real impactful forums. I think this is self-evident, Chief, but why do you think it is important for so many people to attend this? This is a state of policing in, in the United States and across the globe. Yeah. And if you are serious about being a, uh, a community-oriented police agency, this is the place to be, this is the time to learn. And Dr. Friedel, what do you hope is the chief takeaway for hopefully the hundreds of people that attend this forum? Good. And I think there are several takeaways that I hope occur. One, I hope the chief leaders and community members and even the beat cops walk out with some to-dos some action items that they can implement. These won't necessarily be things they can do on Thursday, but long-term plans. I also hope they walk out with an enhanced understanding of the conversation, because we're not here ready to announce the silver bullet. That's not going to be what's coming out of this panel conversation. But I hope the members of the audience come out with an enhanced understanding, an advanced understanding of some of the challenges facing police. But finally, I hope they walk out of here with hope because policing is under a dark cloud right now. Yeah. But we've been under a dark cloud before, and we're making our way through the tunnel, and every time the police profession has landed on its feet. So I think the audience members is also gonna come out, not just with action plans, but with hope that this is gonna make the profession better, it's gonna make the relationship between the police and community better as Very well. Interesting. Hope, Chief, do you see the light at the end of the tunnel? Absolutely, I agree with, with Lori that we're in a tough football game right now, and we just got to move the ball one yard at a time and just keep moving, keep it moving down the field. And, and we are capable of that, and we will get this done. Very good. Thanks to you both. We appreciate your time. Thanks, Thanks Chris. Chris. Sure.